I'm Jared Goggin, I'm the Week in Week School in Communication Studies at NTU. I think really there is an important role for everyone in actually breaking through the myths and also trying to change the, the way that society uh, relates around disability. We often think that people with disabilities live very different lives from other people. I suppose a good starting point is just the acknowledgement that disability is part of human life. Certainly if we live long enough, we'll all you know, be able to acquire some form of impairment or disability. But I suppose having said that, the other obvious issue is the sense in which people with disabilities in society often face discrimination. So in that sense, I think there can be a kind of issue of inequality for many people with disabilities. We have these myths that people with disability can only do certain sorts of work, particularly unskilled work. And I think part of the origins of this is people with disabilities have been segregated from society. Often they've been put in uh, special kind of places to live, special institutions, and that's changed. There's a real, been a real transformation that really acknowledges that you know, people with disabilities are just like anyone else. Capacity is really different, their preferences for work can be different as well, and a lot of the issues about the barrier in the workforce. So if we redesign work, so that it actually is more inclusive for people with disability. Actually, it turns out it could be more inclusive for a lot of people in society as well. And one of the kind of great myths now around disability is that technology is going to be fantastic for people with disabilities. It's going to be a salvation. But I think there's many instances as well where new technologies are introduced that are in fact, uh, bizarrely, inaccessible. So this is part of the problem, I think, is that there's a lot of kind of myths to say, look, technology is really going to be fantastic, but not enough attention to actually the accessibility of even emerging technology. And one of the problems here is that because there's still a lack of understanding about the range of disability and the aspects of it, and because there's not enough consultation with people with disabilities in the design process, people with disabilities being involved in that, you see technology that's inaccessible. So then it really doesn't deliver the benefits it should.